Sophia, Susita, and Sai Prasad, Sai, Pastor, and Prabhu. The name of our project is IoT based smart architecture. Controllers and the sensors are present in the particular area. Controllers and the sensors are present in the parking gate, which detects the presence of What I am going to explain requirements that are needed to our project. The first one is Arduino Uno, 20 into 4 LCD display, uh, I2C, LCD module. 8 IR sensors, survey motor, connecting wires. This is the block diagram of our smart park, uh, smart car parking system where we have used Arduino Uno and here LCD display and we have used uh, IR sensors which are placed in the particular slots and the Arduino Uno pins are connected to the uh, IR sensors which are placed in their individual slots for the pin 10 we have uh, we have connected to the ir sensor 6 uh, for the slot for the pin 9 slot 5 for the pin 8 slot 4 and for the 7 we have used slot 3 and for the 6 and we have used slot 7 and for the fifth pin we have used the slot 1 and we also have connected two ir sensors in the entrance and the exit of the gate we all, we have used a motor servo motor which is used to lift the gate the uh, the lcd display which is 20 into 4 is connected to the i2c module hello everyone now i will explain you the code that we wrote for our project in first three lines we are including the libraries that we are required and here uh, we are initializing the Liquid crystal I2C like we are using a 20 into 4 segment display. From line 8 to 16, we are defining all the input uh, of IR sensors to our Arduino and the pins. Uh, here we are defining them. And initially, we are setting all the slots to 0 and total there are 6 slots. And in the setup function, here we start uh, the serial monitor at bit rate uh, 9600. And here we are setting all the pin modes uh, to our IR sensors as input. Here the servo motor is attached to a pin number 3 and we are setting it to 90 degrees. Here we are initializing the RCD display and we are making it on, setting the cursor uh, as starting and we are printing a card parking system and we are setting a delay to 2 seconds and then we are clearing the data on the LCD. Here, the read sensor uh, function is used to read the S1, S2, S3, S4, S5 data and we are calculating the total number of in the loop. We are one more time uh, reading the sensor data and we are calculating how many slots were filled and we are printing it to the serial monitor uh, for debugging. Uh, at the cursor position 0, 0, we are printing pl uh, filled slots and the slots which are filled and I'm from here we are printing uh, like if the slot 1 is full then we are printing S1 is full and we are also printing the data to the same monitor if S1 is not equal to 1 then it is empty and we are printing S1 equals to empty uh, in our display and likewise uh, we are doing uh, for all the uh, 6 slots uh, like we are checking if the slot is filled or not, uh, it is filled or not. If it is filled, uh, we are printing uh, the corresponding slot is filled or empty. And here uh, we are checking uh, the IR sensor if uh, any car is at the starting. If it is uh, at the start gate, we are opening the gate and if the IR sensor senses any signal. We are making the servo motor uh, rotate 180 degrees uh, so the, the gate will be open and after that we are setting it to 90 degrees which the gate will be closed 
if all slots are filled we are printing uh, sorry uh, parking is uh, parking is full to the lcd display and it is a uh, higher sensor at the exit gate uh, when a car enters uh, comes here and the sub motor will uh, rotate 180 degrees and the gate will be opened car can go out and this is the function that we are using uh, to read the data into our uh, corresponding slots initially all slots are empty in the parking lot we have total six slots here represented as s1 s2 up to so on s6 when a car enters the parking lot the ir sensor at the front gate will detect and get activated by lifting the gate to enter the parking lot now the car is placed in the slot s1 in the lcd display it shows as s1 is full here comes the second car and now it is placed in the s2 as it shows s2 is also full now the car in the slot s2 is leaving so the ir sensor at the back gate activate then the gate will be open and the car leaves now we can see s2 is empty if there are no empty slots then the gate will not be opened and it displays a message saying that sorry parking is full state of availability of the each single parking space and by using this we can avoid the time waste and by developing a smart parking solution within a city can solve the pollution problem